I was crossed for the meeting on the 30th. My name's not on the list.
you, Chair. Um, yeah, hopefully the, the report is a short report. It's fairly self-explanatory. This is a follow-up to the last um, um, schools forum meeting, item agenda 12, where Andrew updated us on universal and free school meals. This is a, just a brief report talking about what the council's response has been to that. And essentially, this is outlining the fact that we put together a new metro catering service level agreement to go out to all our schools ready for implementation from this September. So that's the situation as it is now. Um, it, the letter went out to all schools on the 12th of June, and the report talks about some of the highlights of that new service level agreement <laughs> offer. Um, for the first time, instead of offering a choice to schools of either you buy the metro catering service level agreement or not, we're actually giving them three choices in terms of buying back three levels, standard, standard plus, and premium. And essentially that was a try and that's following on from full consultation with schools using the Wirral Education Quality Service or WEX boards, which have head teacher and government representations on them, to help us to develop what the service level agreement offer was going to be for schools. Um, so that's gone out, Chair. Um, we the responses are coming in. I think for, for the schools forum to note in particular this was done quickly. And the main reason for that was to give schools the chance to respond and to have a new service level agreement up and running for September to help schools cope with the new requirements on them for the universal infant preschool meals. And just a final plea, particularly for any heads who may not have got it back reading governors, there was an early bird offer for the 8th of July, and the prices will go up after that if the responses aren't returned by then. So that's a, a plea to our head teacher and governor colleagues if you haven't done so already on a personal basis. And I think, to be honest, Chair, that's probably about it. I think it's self-explanatory. Great. Well, thank you very much. That's, a, that's an interesting one. Um, fr from my point of view, um, we've had some anecdotal feedback and also been at a couple of meetings where the, if we, we need to make it clear here that the Cabinet has made a recommendation in a report that was done in, in March that the price that schools set for their school meals was £2.30. It's a recommendation. So from that point, it's up to schools in terms of what they set the prices at. What I am aware of is that there are some schools who are talking to each other to kind of say, well, actually, what price are we going to set? Are we going to go with the agreed one? Are we going to go with a slightly different one, depending on perhaps on the service level agreement that they buy back? For the first time as well, this particular service level agreement is actually going to charge schools for the meals they get. This isn't linked to the grants they get or the money they get, it's just for the meals that are served through 